How's it going, home glitches? I've got a fun one for us today. This one actually hits home a lot because um, a, a long time ago I made like a Leorn board installation videos and how-to videos and, and things like that, and it's changed my stream personally. So I'm probably the best tool that I can recommend for your stream. So if you're struggling with a stream that just looks stale, boring, and, and incomplete, and you're wanting to get some fun interactiveness with your chat and some utility that's just Honestly, super custom ability. Leon Board is the tool for you. And now with Leon Board 2.0 out, this is a great time to change over and get this guy set up. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get Leon Board 2.0 installed in your system and connected to everything it needs to be connected to so you can start customizing your own stream to make it look fun and unique. Let's jump right into it. All right, first thing we need to do to get this guy installed is to navigate to this website here. I'm gonna go ahead and link everything in the description of the video. I highly recommend that you join the Discord as well because there's lots of things that I'm not gonna cover in this video as far as features. I uh, probably will be covering a lot of features in future videos, so make sure to you subscribe to see those. Um, I'm just trying to get you set up and set up, you know, day one stuff, just get it installed and running. And I'll let you know as well that you're going to need OBS WebSocket if you don't have it set up. I'll link an OBS WebSocket download in the description of the video as well. Um, and then you're gonna, we're going to connect to Twitch. We can't connect to YouTube quite yet. Bear in mind, this is still really new and not all the extensions have been set up yet. Um, it literally says right here, work in progress for YouTube Live. Um, Leon Board 1.0 has uh, YouTube integration, and I'm guaranteeing you this is going to happen for Leon Board 2.0. In fact, it's probably right around the corner. Um, I'll probably make a video when that integration comes out as well. And if you're converting from Leon Board 1.0 to 2.0, or if, I think that's the best way to put it, Leon Board 2. Um, keep in mind that there is no um, migration set up for this. So you have to literally manually build stuff over again. And I don't know all the technicalities behind it, but there's a lots of new changes. And I think that it just wasn't comp um, compatible anymore with you know going forward for it. But it's best to get set up and get ready for it because we've got lots of stuff down. Leon Board does, I know, um, down the pipeline. Anyways, get this guy downloaded. Um, I already have it downloaded for me. I think I have it in my download section. I downloaded the 64 version. I'm basically going to take this guy and extract it. And um, I believe I have a folder. Yeah, I was going to select that folder to extract for me and I'm just going to extract. And then I'm going to navigate back to that spot and then this is the Leorn Board 2.0 here. We click that and run it and that's basically our program. Uh, keep in mind, this is version 2053. Again, you know, with new versions coming out quite a bit, um, I'm sure things are going to change around and as far as look and stuff like that. But our goal today is to get this guy installed, all of our connections set up so we can start playing around with some of the features. I'm going to try to not cover that many features because there's a lot of new stuff and we, we the video would just go way too long. So let's just think, get things connected very basic, maybe do like one or two tests to see if it's working correctly, and we'll go from there. So first thing I want to do is connect to the main OBS. We have OBS running in the background one, tw twice over, once for our recording and once for our actual video on there. Um, if you see, so yeah, here's my actual OBS running, we're going to use this test scene a little bit later. Um, and then you want to make sure that you've got WebSocket set up. I do right here. So WebSocket service settings. If you do have a, a different port than default, or if you have a password, just take note of that. That's where you would change them there. Uh, Cause we're gonna use that in here. The other thing you're gonna need is your IP address, your local IP address. Um, if you don't know how to get to it or what it is, if you just type CMD or go up to the command prompt, you can literally type in um, IP config and if I can type correctly, um, you will should be able to get your local IP address right there. So just write that down or memorize that. You're going to need that to connect. And so we're going to go into the OBS connections, type in your IP address that we just listed for your local IP address. Um, same thing if you're going to do the remote deck, like the um, if you want to use your mobile phone or Android device for a remote deck, you're going to need to connect to whatever one has it and then if you do have a password this is where you would put it i do have mine passworded 
you just type it in there. Um, if you, I would click on auto connect and then just connect and you can save and you should get a green light. If not, double check your connections. It'll give you your error, oops, uh, your error codes and stuff as it goes forward. Okay, uh, so we got the uh, main OBS connected. Let's go ahead and get Twitch connected next. So we're just gonna go down here to Twitch connections, click on that. Um, I would like to auto connect in, in chat and then I think I would just do open URL to uh, do the authentication. It says you're all good now. Go ahead and go back to Leorn board. I'm going back into Leorn board. And then you should also get basically your channel um, you, you might have to log in and authenticate like just basically most other um, authentications and then any sort of listens for that you want to queue and I for me I'm going to queue them all um, if you don't use polls or don't plan on it you don't have to necessarily listen for it but I'm just going to go ahead and give t tokens for each of those and then I'm going to go ahead and connect it should turn green and I'm going to go ahead and hit done and then it just wants to make sure that everything's set up there. If you feel like you've got it right closed, yeah, sure. All right, we're still green, so we should be good there. The next is the transmitter. Uh, for the transmitter, there's you can open it up in its own browser if you want. You can kind of open it up in the receiver, but in order to do that, you need to go into settings first and then allow the stream deck um, and transmitter. And that basically just gives it permission to open it up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now underneath the transmitter, I can just open in a browser and it will automatically pop it up right there for us. And already you can see that Leorn board has more options with twitch triggers in Leorn board 2.0 than it did in um, the version one. And this is one where, where you can test them out and things like that to see if they're firing off. I'm um, probably not going to test any triggers with this. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll test something. I'm not quite sure what well, I'm, I, I'm probably just going to do a zoom effect. So back into Leorn board here, um, let's go ahead and make a quick test deck. Um, you hit plus and create a new deck um, and you can pop it in there. Uh, the new options are available and I'll try not to cover many of them because again, I'll, I'll be here forever, but you can even make like a background image for your, your stream deck. Um, label whatever you want. Um, we're just gonna create a button. You can import from JSON if you haven't saved to JSON. And we're just going to mess with this button here. Um, it's nice and neat now, even though there's more options. Um, basically, things like the appearance is all kind of in one spot. You know, the color, the display, the text, and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to worry about populating too much of that right there. Um, you know, settings, triggers, like it's nice and neat. It's just straightforward. Here's where they're at. Um, before they had a little bit of confusing options and there's even tool tips built into it now too so if you can't figure out what they are check the documentation that's available through discord and such um, and read through that and you're gonna get a little bit more idea of what things are um, so like button IDs and stuff like that there's quite a few new things as well just in the buttons which is great um, one of them is this release commands which I think is going to be very useful for um, a lot of streams uh, mine included um, so I'm going to just do an edit command here um, what I did in OBS um, I basically made just this test stream right here uh, scene it's basically one quick little scene with just my camera and then I went ahead and populated a couple of uh, filters on the scene. So if I go down here and I go underneath the filters, I went ahead and got a couple of move transform filters. I've made videos on the move transform before. So basically it's just a zoom effect um, and an unzoom filter once those get clicked. And I'm going to test um, Leorn board to see if it detects it and if we can manipulate it in Leorn board. So let's go ahead and set that up. So what we're going to do is um, add a new um, command and I'm going to use an OBS command because that makes sense for us. There's quite a few things you can do, Twitch commands, even file management. You can open up programs. You can do so many awesome things with this deck. It's amazing, but let's just worry about OBS commands for now because I think that's probably your top three things you're going to be doing is probably scene switches, uh, source change visibilities, and... Uh, filter change visibilities. Those are probably the big three that gets used the most, but you can do so many things, um, including motion in built in with uh, Leorn board instead of using like the move filter. But we're just going to do a filter change visibility. 
Um, you can do it to different OBSs if you have more than one running. Why would you do that? Well, I have two running right now, so it's kind of cool that that is available. Um, anyways, the source for me is going to be the scene name. I think it's test three in my case. And then the filter, um, I'm going to manipulate uh, filter number T2 to make it visible. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now I'm going to play around with some of the new functionality. We're going to go ahead and um, use a release command. So this is after you, know, you, you press the button and then you release the button. You can do two functions basically this way. And I'm going to do similar to what we did before, OBS command, uh, source change visibility. The source is the, the scene of the name. And we're going to take the um, T1 and it'll make that visible. We'll go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and save that again. And now we should um, be good to test the deck itself. A couple of ways you can do that is, well, open up the deck. And so we're gonna go into basically where Leorn board was installed. Um, you should see this other little spot called Stream Deck. You can also install it on your phone. And I'm not gonna cover that today, but again, check in the Discord and the documentation. If you really want me to, go ahead and shoot me a couple DMs. Uh, maybe I'll make another video on just installing on Android. But basically you just need to get the files on Android and run it. And it's gonna look very, very similar to what's loading right now. On your Android device where it just says connect to the uh, URL the port if you want to connect and if you set up a password and you can actually set up a password in Leorn board settings if you choose to for the connect to the, the, the deck to be connected uh, make sure your URL is the IP address is the IP address of the computer that's running Leorn board you can also run this through the um, LAN so if you have multiple computers that are hooked up and multiple stream decks and multiple OBSs running, um, you can connect them if they're all in the same network. Just make sure you know what IP is what. I didn't set a password, that is correct. That is my correct URL. So I'm just hit connect. And then at this point you can select the stream deck that you want. I didn't label it, I think it's still called deck one. And that looks good for me, so I'm just go ahead and load the deck. I didn't label the button, but the bu button right there is populated. So let's just move this around. So you can, can see, I've got my OBS window here, and I've got that button. So I'm going to press, and I'm going to hold, and then I'm going to release. And let's see if this actually zooms and unzooms the way I want. So I'm pressing, I'm still holding the button, it's staying nice and zoomed. And if I release, it should trigger the release function, which is the unzoom. So we know it works nice and properly there. Um, let's test one more thing. Okay, so I forgot to set up my chat as a doc, so I just went ahead and did a little editing there. I basically just docked my, my chat here because I want to test to see if it's reading from Twitch. So we'll just do a chat command and we'll do the same function. So I'm gonna go back into Leorn board first and we'll go back into our, our the deck that we made and I'm gonna go ahead and make a new button and you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to go into commands. I'll hit uh, plus those OBS commands. I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before, which was a filter change visibility for that test source that I made to see if it um, detects the chat commands. And I see T2 visible, save, sure, whatever. Um, but for this case, I want to test to see if it's reading the triggers. So I'm going to go instead to edit triggers. I'll hit plus and a lots of different options available. And again, you can see already that it has all the new um, Twitch triggers available of force as well, which is uh, amazing. It's got OBS triggers now. It's got repeating triggers so you can make loops. There's so many new awesome functions now. Um, I just really can't wait to get into it and start playing with all the fun stuff. Um, anyways, we're going to do a Twitch chat in this case. Um, I'm going to make it going to say if the broadcaster types in big um, that will trigger this effect so let's go ahead and save the deck and minimize that and it should be good to go so we have OBS running on the side over here I've got my chat over here and I'm just going to type in big and let's see if it's listening properly yeah pretty simple 
So it looks like it's all connected and good. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be doing more actual features and fun stuff with future videos. Just wanted to get it installed and set up for you. So if this is the first time for you, it's nice and easy and ready to roll. All right, that's going to sum up everything for us on today's video. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure you smash every social button you can to help me out. I'll see you glitches on the next video. Be safe.